Hello and welcome back to another segment of Community Lens, a special production of Somerville Neighborhood News. I am Erica Jones with here from Somerville Media Center and I'm joined in the studio today with Heather Minty, the Director of Philanthropy and Engagement at Respond. Welcome. Thank you for having us. Absolutely. And Maria Crooker, the Director of Programs and Operations. Thanks for having us. We're so excited to be here. Same. Thank you for coming in and to speak uh, more about a lot about the mission of Respond, what you all do on an ongoing basis, and specifically to speak to the Domestic Violence Awareness Month happening throughout October. Yes. Um, for those who don't know about Respond, would you mind just giving an overview about the mission and all the different programs that you guys work on? Respond was founded over 45 years ago by four women who really saw a program, uh, problem in Somerville with domestic violence. Back then it wasn't talked about much mm -hmm. and so they really worked to raise awareness about the fact that domestic violence is a problem and people should talk about it and be educated about it. So in those 45 years we have strived to reach our mission which is to partner with our community and work towards ending the public health crisis that is domestic violence. Right. We do that work in multiple different ways. Uh, we have four programs that we run. Our residential services program which provides short-term emergency shelter for people who are fleeing abusive situations we have our law enforcement partnership programs which partners with five area police departments and has a certified domestic violence counselor in each of those police departments doing work with people who are or have recently experienced domestic right. violence and a call to the police. Um, we have a full-time certified domestic violence counselor at Suffolk County House of Corrections which is a really new program to us and really one of the first of its kind working to provide domestic violence education to inmates who will soon be re-entering into their day-to-day -day lives wow. and providing support and safety planning because oftentimes the only place they have to return is an abusive situation. Sure. And then we have our community intervention education program which works to pretty much do just what it sounds like which is to educate the community. We go into schools, we go into organizations such as this, we partner with our local community members, we're tabling, we were at Fluff Fest this weekend. Um, so it may not be something that's necessarily human services driven but really sure, yeah. to meet our community members where they're General at. community outreach. Yeah. 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 So. Um, Really, in a nutshell, that's what we do. One of the most important things that I like to mention is that we run a 24-hour hotline that is staffed by a certified domestic violence counselor at all times, wow. 365 days a year. Someone is there to answer anyone's call, whether it's for support or options for shelter, safety planning, things like that. Right, right. What an important resource. Mm -hmm. Um, and in terms of talking about upcoming October being Domestic Violence Awareness Month, mm -hmm. um, do you both want to speak to um, what Respond is, is organizing around that? Yeah, so, um, you know, it's a big month for us. Mm -hmm. Like, honestly, my first thing is go to our website because we have a ton of events, um, many that will be benefiting Respond, which is really exciting. Um, it's always wonderful to s partner with other, you know, organizations um, who are looking to support Respond and the work that we're doing. Um, so we will be at the annual Somerville Domestic Violence uh, Candlelight Vigil. Mm -hmm. So that's on Wednesday, October 2nd. Um, so, you know, we'll be there. It's hosted by the Commission for Women of Somerville. Um, and it's to honor those that have lost their lives to domestic violence in the past year. So, you know, Respond, our staff members, you know, some of our supporters, like, we'll be there. Um, but there's also some other events that are a bit more fun um, going on throughout the month. So uh, on the 14th, Monday the 14th, so at Lord Hobo in Cambridge, mm -hmm. uh, you could do trivia. Ooh. Yeah, <laughs> with Geeks Who Drink. Nice. Um, so there's suggested $5 donation, um, and then some of the proceeds will actually come back to us at Respond, and Lord Hobo actually is also part of their proceeds for the evening are also gonna come back to us. Awesome. Um, which is really exciting. So it's a night of fun to kind of get together. Uh, and it also means other people are gonna get to learn about the services that we right. provide. Um, and then actually right here in Union Square, uh, Juliet, their community night, um, which is October 20th, from five to eight, uh, all 
food sales, 10% of those proceeds are coming to respond. That's great. Um, and that's going to be fabulous. You know, it's family friendly. Uh, there's no reservations. So you can just walk in um, on a Sunday, you know, don't want to cook. <laughs> a nice start to the week. You know, want to eat delicious food. Yeah, right. So you get to have a nice meal and 10% of the proceeds are coming to respond. That's so I mean, great. it's a win-win, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think it's it's key in, in your position to just come up with these, work collaboratively and coming up with these creative engagement efforts for like, to your point, like you're, you're at the base level, you're raising awareness, yeah. it's outreach, it's exposure. And then potentially you might have people wanting to like become more involved in a, vol exactly. in like a volunteer capacity. Yep. You know, we never know where, you know, our next volunteer may be. Right. But we also never know where our next client may be. Right. We don't know where we're going to reach them and where they're going to hear about our services for the first time. So I think that's really important to us. Right. Yeah, I think there's a couple of really unique things about Respond. And one of them being that we serve someone who is experiencing domestic violence at any point in the relationship. So we have clients who are still actively experiencing the abuse. We have clients who are preparing to leave the relationship. We have clients who have left the relationship 10 years ago. And so as Heather said, our outreach efforts are really broad because it's not just about getting the support from the community and donors to respond, but also how we're reaching people in the community who are in need. So, And we really focus on the fact that our roots are in Somerville. Mm -hmm. So partnering with those local businesses, mm -hmm. the small businesses in the area to support them as well that is huge. It just speaks to the collaborative community environment here in Somerville. Yeah. Um, I feel like it's such a great like tight knit group of of just like like for profit businesses and non profit yeah, business like absolutely. everyone sort of just, like comes together and pools efforts to like help each other out which is yeah. in and of itself just yeah. a really really um, special like I don't know connective piece of of our community here. Yes. Um, is there anything else in terms of like those events? We can point people to your website to get the full rundown of the schedule. Yeah, right? so I would say definitely visit our website, respondinc.org. Okay. Um, and I would also say follow our social media. We are very busy, very active on social media. Excellent <laughs> social media. I follow it. <laughs> so good. on Facebook and Twitter, we're Respond Inc. And then on Instagram, we're Respond underscore DV. Okay, wonderful. And then for folks who are interested in maybe learning more about a volunteer opportunities, um, pointing to the website too for yes, that? Yes, absolutely. So we have a form that you can fill out right there and kind of tell us we have all kinds of opportunities. Um, you know, administrative opportunities. So um, definitely go to our website, fill out that form, and then someone will be in touch with you. Okay, awesome. Well, thank you. Thanks so much thank for having for, us. <laughs> thank you for coming on and just um, letting people know about the great work that you're doing ongoing and then specifically around October. Um, and all the information is on our screen right now. And again, thank you so much for coming on and, and talking about this. Thank, thank you. you.